Uh, let's go out to Dan Coco at Coors Field out in Denver. Now, last night, Dan, you had a chance to catch up with Ryan Zimmerman, ask him about, are you looking forward to going home? I know he is. I know you guys are. The whole ball club is after this tremendous road trip and hopefully a win today. But I know these guys are saying, let's keep our hitting shoes going once we get back because they've had a heck of a run out there in Colorado. It's been unreal, Johnny. This road trip has seen gaudy numbers from everyone pretty much up and down throughout the order. And so, yeah, these Nationals are dying to get home. I'm dying to get home. But they, they're they not dying to see this offense go away. Let's take a look at where the Nationals rank across the National League in the major offensive categories. And you're going to notice a consistent trend here. And that's that they're at near the very top of the rankings in pretty much every category. Batting average second in the NL. Hitting 276 as a team. On base percentage tops in the National League. Slugging percentage second. Runs per game, the most important stat of all offensively. 5.86 runs per game. Best in the National League. Extra base hits third in the National League. A lot to like about what we've seen from this Nationals offensive unit over the first few weeks of the season, especially on this road trip. Bryce Harper and Daniel Murphy talking about that after the game. It all starts at the top with, uh, you know, Eat and Trey and, uh, you know, so forth with Zim hitting the ball well, Murph, of course, and, uh, you know, all the way down. So, um, I mean, everybody's just, you know, hitting on the same cylinder right now. If we can do that uh, now and, you know, a couple games for the rest of the year, uh, I think we'll be okay. You guys put up double-digit runs for the second straight night. What do you like most about the way the offense is going right now? Uh, it's just uh, sustained pressure, I think. Each at bat, uh, guys are having great at bats. I mean, it's starting at the top with the way Trey and Eater putting pressure on them. And then, you know, and Bryce and Zim didn't look like they took a single pitch off tonight. So just sustained pressure. And this is the, it's the kind of ballpark, if you can get traffic on the base pads, it seemed like the holes open up. And, um, you know, just a great job by the offense. One on this road trip so far. you still got one game left before you head home. Have you seen anything in these nine games that maybe you didn't know about your team before you left D.C.? Uh, no, I mean, I think, uh, you know, we're, <clears throat> when we're going to spring training, you know, we're trying to battle every single day and, you know, know what the team we have and uh, just try to go out there and have good at-bats, and that's what we're doing. Um, you know, trying to put those runs on the board, and you know, that's good, good Rockies team over there. So uh, got to put as many, many runs on the board as we can, and, uh, you know, good things will happen. So there's a lot of positive stats to discuss when you're talking about this Nationals offense, and I'll lay a couple more on you. Last night's 2-3-4 in the Nationals order. Trey Turner, Bryce Harper, Ryan Zimmerman. On this road trip, they're hitting 500 collectively with 10 home runs between the three of them and 35 RBI. This lineup really from top to bottom is doing fantastic things. But, Johnny, when you look at what the Nationals are getting, really from one through five in their order, it's been constant production, constant pressure on the opposition, and that's why we've seen so many crooked numbers over this road trip. 